Hey guys, it's Sajid Dan here, back again for another unboxing video for you guys. Today we're going to be unboxing a really nice looking collector's edition for a game I was really, really looking forward to and anticipating. And anyone who follows me for a while knows that I'm a huge, huge fan of the Tales of series. So of course, today we're going to be unboxing a really nice looking collector's edition for Tales of Zisteria on the PS4. Tales of Zisteria is available on the, both the PS3 and PS4, but the collector's edition was only available on the PS4. Really nice looking collector's edition, tons of goodies in here, so we're going to go through this, but been really looking forward to this, and I know I've heard a lot of mixed things about the game ever since its Japanese release, it seems like it has a lot of technical issues, and I don't know if they really resolved that, but I'm still looking forward to a huge Tales of fan. The story in here is a little bit more traditional, they kind of changed up the battle system and how it works a little bit, but really looking forward to this, nevertheless, let's jump into the unboxing for the Tales of Hysteria Collector's Edition. Okay guys, and here we are with the actual unboxing for the Tales of Zisteria Collector's Edition. Now this set is very similar and pretty much identical to the Tales of Symphonia Chronicles Collector's Edition. It's a very similar construction and build. Basically we have like an internal box and then we have like this exterior like clear box which has some nice artwork on it. But what do you say we take a closer look at the box itself and some of the really nice artwork. And here we have a closer look at the cover art on the box. We have the logo there. Some really gorgeous artwork here of all the various characters. Really like the character artwork. On this side of the box, we have some more characters. The back of the box gives us a shot at all the contents included. There's tons of content to get through. And this side of the box has the other characters. On the top, it just says Tells Us Hysteria Collector's Edition. And this is how it looks like once we've taken out the inside box. We have like the main inside box. And then as mentioned before, this is just like a clear kind of plastic case, which contains the cover art and the contents included. Okay, so let's start going through the contents since we have a lot of contents to get through. This is just your traditional box, so you're just going to go ahead and open up from the top here. And once we open it up, we have a shot at all the contents included and how they come packaged inside the box. So let's start going through these. Okay, and the first main item I went ahead and pulled out is the game itself for the PS4. Here we have a closer look at the cover art. Really nice cover art as mentioned before. Have all the various characters. On the side it says Tells Us Hysteria. And here we have a shot at the back of the game. It says Engage Your Passion and Fight to Save the World. The Dawn of a New Hero Emerges. And this is a really interesting inclusion. Here we have Tells Us Hysteria Dawn of the Shepherd Blu-ray Disc. Here we have a closer look at the Blu-ray Disc. There's a logo there. We have the main characters. On the side it just says Tells Us Hysteria Dawn of the Shepherd. And here's a shot at the back of the Blu-ray disc. This is about 45 minutes long. And here we have the Tells Us Hysteria Limited Edition Retro Keychain Set, which includes three really cute looking 8-bit retro keychains of some of the main characters. So let's check this out. And here we have the three 8-bit retro keychains. These are really, really cool looking, really cute. And really nice presentation too, putting the keychains inside a box and with the styrofoam kind of protection. Really, really great packaging. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the keychains. They're made out of a rubber material, really cute looking. Next we have a main item in the set and that's this Tells Us Hysteria Limited Edition Chibi Kunchara figure set. And I believe this is the same company who also made the figures in the Symphonia Chronicles set too. So we have a set of four really cute Chibi Kunchara figures. So let's go ahead and put these together and check these out. Okay guys, I went in and put the figures together. They're a little bit more challenging to put together than I thought. They're really small, fragile, and petite figures with some small kind of components that you have to be careful with. But here we have the main character of the game. The very beautiful Sori. Wait, wait a second. Okay, here's Sori. I was just having a little fun there. We have Sori, the main character of the game. These are really cute chibi figures where the heads are significantly larger than the bodies. But these are very nice, very nicely detailed. Just really nice looking and really cute representations of their characters. And here we have, I believe his name is Miklio. So he's got his like staff there. Once again, these are all... Really cute looking, they're very small, but very, very nicely detailed. And here we have, I'm assuming, the waifu of the game, the very cute and beautiful Alicia. She's rocking that side ponytail, really cute outfit. She's got her spear. Once again, very nicely detailed. And finally, we have the very cute Edna. She's really cute, rocking the side ponytail too, man. The side ponytail game is strong in this Tales of game. Very cute, she's got her umbrella, nice little details on it. And once you're ready to display your figures, of course they come with bases which look really nice. They have their various emblems to represent each character and their various unique support mechanics to hold up the figures. Continuing on, we have the Tales of Hysteria art book here, very nice hardcover art book. 
over 100 plus pages so we're going to briefly just skim through this because there's tons of content in this here we have a closer look at the cover art on the art book we have all the characters on the side just says the art of tales of Hysteria. on the back we have the logo and once we open it up we have the table of contents and it looks like we have the key art in the beginning a large portion is the characters and various character artwork we have illustrations ending artwork and environmental artwork in the beginning here we have some of the really nice key artwork this is the main artwork for the cover art for the game and the collector's edition as well as mentioned before i really like this artwork we have the piece of artwork used for the cover art on the blu-ray disc and here's another shot at the artwork used for the cover art of this art book and a large portion of the art book is various character artworks so we have kind of write-ups on each of the characters various artwork on each of the characters here's some more artwork of sori the main character in the game then we have some early draft stuff and very early beginnings of the kind of character design for each of the characters. We got all the various weapons. Here we have all the various facial expressions and the kind of breakdown of the overall design of the character. And one of the most iconic parts of a Tales of game is the skits and we have all the various like skit artwork for all the various expressions. And I'm not going to go through all the characters since there's so much content but I just want to give you guys a kind of idea of the the breakdown on how they showcase each of the characters. And skipping ahead we have various skit illustrations. And moving on towards the back of the art book we have some really nice environmental artwork. And this is one thing I've always appreciated in the Tales of series is it does have some really interesting environments, really nice environmental design. And that's pretty much the gist of the art book in a quick skim through of its contents. And towards the back here it just has a quote, the conviction of a shepherd exists to guide the people, their strength protects the peace. So that's pretty much the gist of the art book. And lastly we have the very nice looking still book. Here we have the logo in this kind of worn faded style and in general it kind of looks like a like a worn out book. It says tells us the stereo on the side and it has this on the back which I can't really read. And this is how the still book looks on the inside. We have a spot here with the soundtrack CD and a space to include the game disc here. Here we have a closer look at the special selection soundtrack CD. So there's the still book, really nice looking. Okay guys, and that pretty much do for my unboxing on the Tales of Zisteria Collector's Edition. Definitely a fine collector's edition here with tons of cool goodies and definitely a nice piece for any Tales of collection here. As you can see, we have all the wonderful contents in front of us. All the contents come in this really big, nice box which has like an internal box and then you have this like outer clear case with the cover art and all that. We have the really cute and adorable Chibi Kunchara figures. Really nicely detailed for such small figures. We have the really awesome and cool 8-bit style retro keychains here. Really, really cool rubber keychains. Those are awesome. We have the really nice hardcover art book. 100 plus pages of really awesome Tales of Art. Various environmental artwork, skid illustrations, character concept stuff. And just really, really comprehensive and really nice. We have the game for the PS4, of course. Kind of important. We have the really cool Blu-ray discs. And we have the really nice steel book, which kind of looks like a worn kind of leather book. And inside that we have the selection soundtrack CD. So that's all the wonderful contents. Really looking forward to checking out this game. Huge Tales of fan. I just can't wait to start playing this. But until next time guys, please take it easy. Bye guys.